Ding, 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 ding. Hi, my name's Matthew, and today I have a book haul for you because I was feeling lazy AF. So let's get started. So up first I have Go by Kazuki Kanashiro. This is translated from Japanese by Takami Nieda, and I believe this book was originally published in 2000 and then has been translated now. This is about a Korean student who attends a Japanese high school and falls in love with a Japanese girl. This student is obviously heavy bullied because of the cultural differences, and a love story ensues. So I'm super excited for this one, it's nice and short. Up next I have Rickshaw Boy by Lao Shi. This is translated from the original Chinese by Howard Goldblatt. This book was actually recommended to me by a coworker. It was originally published in 1937, and Lao Xie is a very popular or classic novelist. This is the story of Zhang Ji, who is a rickshaw puller in Beijing. From what I understand about this book, it is kind of satirical, it is darkly comic, and it examines a time in China's history that I'm very intrigued by. Up next I have The Republic of Udzupis by Hailji. This was originally published in 2009, and then later translated for the Dalkey Archive, which is one of my favorite series of books in 2013? In 2013, published in 2014, the translation from Korean is done by Bruce and Ju Chan Fulton. All I really know about this book is that it is highly critical of Korea and Korean culture, and anything published in the Dalkey Archive I find fascinating, so I picked it up. Up next I got a copy of Love by Hane Urstafik. This is translated originally from the Norwegian by Martin Aiken, and it's a very short book, so that's the reason why I picked it up. This is a book that follows two different people through a tragic, dark, wintry night. And that's enough to sell me on anything. And lastly, the thing I am absolutely most excited for is Seventeen by Hideo Yokoyama. This is translated from the original Japanese by Luis Hiel Kawaii. Hideo Yokoyama wrote Six Four, which was an epic psychological drama about the police force and a cold case, and I absolutely love that book. This book is not out yet in America, so I have to thank my friend Erica for acquiring this for me from the UK. I'm so excited to read it. I'm, like, about 60 pages in, and I'm obsessed. So up first for manga, I have Voices of a Distant Star by Makoto Shinkai. Most people know Makoto Shinkai because he was the author of Your Name, which was made into the big movie that is absolutely beautiful, full of tears. Everything that he writes is delicate and sweet and devastating, and a lot of his earlier stuff like this has that kind of watercolor feel to it, which I'm so excited about. The artist he is working with in this volume of manga is Mitsu Sahara. Up next I have Granaliers by Rihito Takarai, and she wrote Ten Count, and Ten Count was sexy. It was a very problematic, amazing, sexy boys love series, and this is her new series, so I'm just excited to get into it. Look at this woeful, wounded, possibly infected. Don't know what's going on here, haven't read it yet, man. I'm very, very thrilled to have a new series by her, because Ten Count, Ten Count was so bad, so good. And lastly, by Mitsuro Ukobu is Again. Now, Mitsuro Ukobu is one of the co-creators of Yuri on Ice, which is prime anime. And so this was an auto-buy for me. I'm so excited for this manga. I will probably end up doing a review for this because this is the one that I am most excited about right now. Some lovely people from Penguin Random House got to visit our store. This happens about every six months or so, and they talk about what's coming out and what we should sell to customers and what they're excited about to get us excited. And I snagged four books that I'm thrilled to have. The first one is The Female Persuasion by Meg Wolitzer, and this cover just fills my soul with so much happiness. Meg Wolitzer wrote The Interestings, which I absolutely loved. Everyone says that this is young and fun and incredible and full of feminist discussion, which I'm so excited about. Up next is You'll Think It, I'll Say It by Curtis Sittenfeld. Curtis Sittenfeld wrote Sisterland, which I've talked about on my channel before. If I can remember to, I will put the video down below. I really like Curtis Sittenfeld's writing and her wit. I think she's a brilliant author, so I'm excited to read some short stories, because I haven't read short stories by her before. Then I have Unbury Carol by Josh Mallerman. I feel like Josh Mallerman is pretty popular here on BookTube, or at least with the thriller community. He wrote Bird Box, which I know did very well with a lot of people, and I loved Bird Box. I hadn't read his next novel after that, but then this one I picked up because I recognized the name, of course, and it was free, it's an arc, and the concept seems really interesting to me. It's about a woman who's died many times, and that's a thriller trope that I find intriguing. Can't do it in movies, but I can do it in books. I can't do really any scary movie. I can do scary books, but I'm a, I'm a wimp. I'm an utter wimp. And lastly, The Island Dwellers by Jen Silverman. This is a short story collection about relationships and relationships that are separated either geographically or culturally people who are set apart. I know that the stories are set in the US and Japan separately, and they start to intertwine as you read them, which has my name written all over it.
So that's it, that's the haul. If you are excited about any of these books, please comment down below. I would love to talk about them with you. If you are interested in me reviewing any of these books in particular, put that down below as well, because then I can pick and choose maybe what I read first. Or if you just want to say hi, you're always welcome to just say hi. I like it, it's fun. You say hi, and then I'm usually like, oh my gosh, hi, back, and I'll put some emojis. It'll be a great time. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.